Is anyone in here older than 35? If you are, do I have your permission to speak? <laughs> speak, young man. Speak. All right. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Hotel. Hotel. Uja. Okay. So it's kind of one of the throw that word in that Uja. It's a term meaning prosperity. Okay. It is a word that means to be healthy. So when a person greets you and says Uja, they're with, it's a salutation of wishing upon you health. Okay. It's the same word for like green plants. And we know today, you know, they have these slogans called Go Green, right? And health in stores, implying health. But this is something that we already were doing in our own cultures, because green and chemical is associated with being healthy. So when you greet someone, you say, Uja, you're wishing help upon them. And it's already in the culture. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Appreciate you. So what I would like to do is share some experiences that I've had in my personal growth in regards to our next speaker and why I'm honored to introduce him. When I was 19 years old, you know, I was just kind of coming out of the uh, sorts of knowledge and everything like that. You know, I studied the Hebrew Israelite doctrine, the Wabi doctrine, Christian, Islam, etc. I was deep here in Philadelphia, going back and forth to Delaware. And once I graduated from the, what I'm going to call the Abrahamic mode of thinking, right? My spirit said, you know, it is time for you to grow because, you know, you kind of start expanding as you get, as you mature, okay? And at 19 years old, I was lost at 19. I had all this scattered knowledge, you know, 5% of information over here, just memorizing all this stuff, right? But I had no direction. But I knew I had to search. But I didn't know how. I just knew I had to get out. So, one day I was in South Street. Do y'all remember Pearl of Africa? Yeah. Do y'all remember Pearl of Africa? Yeah. You know, I'd like to uh, give a shout out to our brother Ahmed, who's an ancestor. He gave me a lot of guidance because I started going there to get some books. All right? Uh, so, I went there, I seen this flyer for, it was a, like, a comedic ascension program. So, I looked, oh man, that's, that's kind of cool. So I grabbed it, and then I attended the, the, uh, the events. One of those events, it was called Kubi, Ghana, and Guni. I was like, what is that? Like, I mean, it sounds cool, all right. It said African martial arts. I would never heard of African martial arts. Because at that point, it was just about, you know, Asian martial arts, you know, studying Bruce Lee, Jeet Kune Do, and all kind of stuff, right? I, I remember I had a, um, a Jeet Kune Do patch that I got frowned upon when I was practicing African art, martial arts, so I, you know, I got rid of that quick. <laughs> we'll come back to that. So, again, I was off, didn't have direction, and I wouldn't consider myself African-centered at this point. I had information, but it was not focused. I didn't have a method, per se, like uh, Dr. Uh, Kilimanjaro spoke about her earlier. I wasn't African-centered. Okay. So, think about this, you know, have you ever met someone who inspires you to be great? Think about those prophets from old, right? those philosophers from, from, from the ancient times, you know, or like a celebrity who you know, says something that changes your life. Think about you know, a young man who doesn't have direction and he meets this, this, uh, this mystical, magical figure in real life. That's what that was like for me. Okay. You know, sitting at the feet of somebody who reminds me of, you know, ancient prophets, you know. Now again, I'm not mysticizing it, but I'm just kind of giving you the feeling of, of the inspiration. Okay. And thinking about this man that we affectionately know as Infundishi. He is a He's, he became my personal teacher. Okay. He, guide, he guided me, you know, because I, 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 was, I had the talent, but I didn't have the focus. He helped me with the focus. And throughout all those experiences, I'm going to tell you, uh, there was one where I got knocked 
blacked out for the first time. Okay, during the test, it was a it was a test going into my uh, third level of the martial arts system. I've never been knocked out before. Okay, and when I got knocked down, okay, I did not want to get up. Okay, if anybody's ever been to, been a fight or done professionally, you know, and you've been going for like an hour, hour and a half, which is what I had to do, going through all the. Uh, martial arts steps. Some, some of you are, are also students, so you remember Ulam, Wingo, etc. Right? I was on the floor. I was already tired. I did not want to get up. And all I heard was this voice. You know, it was like, Sajen, get up. It sounds very simple. However, that voice gave me the strength to get up. And then later on, I could translate that experience symbolically. Okay? See, I learned how to fail before I learned how to succeed. I think that's more important because if you don't know how to fall, okay, like learn a martial arts class, right? You have to learn how to fall so that you can properly get up. And those seemingly small experiences helped to shape me as a man, as as I came into that. Okay. So, you Chibuya Mex. Kaden Herod Hassan Kamal Salim is an inspirer, a teacher, a saba. Now, in, in the Kemet language, saba is a word for teacher, instruct. Okay, it's also a word for door. Okay, because see, your instructor, your teacher, opens the door for you. He's not going to open it for you. I'll show you how to do it, but you have to do it yourself. The word saba is also a word for star. Okay, because your teacher, your instructor, the one who opens the door for you, is going to aid you in attaining astral consciousness. All right, you may say Haru consciousness, Asarian consciousness. Okay, I don't really like saying Buddha consciousness because we're not Asians. Okay, mm -hmm. so or Holy Demani, whichever term you want to use. Infodishi is the CEO and president of Black Gold Sacred Cultural Center. He is the Tepi Hemnetcher, or the head priest of Karajahuti Haru Nepu, in which I was fortunate enough to be initiated into, and is part of my personal growth as a man. He's a pan Africanist and African centered researcher. He's the author of at least two books all right, that I'm aware of. So you have Kubagani Bloom, the first book, and then after that, you have spiritual warriors are healers. He's an instructor of Mela Netra, the language, as well as Kiswahili and other African languages. He is an instructor of Kupagana Gumi, the African martial arts or Matu arts fighting system, or which you might call a Kemetic Aha, or Aha meaning, meaning like fighting system. And without further ado, I would like to introduce. Infodishi Chihudimas. Iyem Hotel. Iyem Hotel. Ang Uja Senet. It's a pleasure to come before you. It's a pleasure to be able to share. be able to share this experience. What I'm going to share with you is hopefully it will help you think because that's our main objective here. You see, the human being, the original people on this planet, one of the things that separate us from everything else on this planet is that we're extremely inquisitive. We want to know. And I call this beginning teaching symptomatic thought and you learn through experience. I know that's a falcon. I saw it fly, I saw it capture a fish under the water. I saw it catch a mouse. I know what it can do. I've seen it fly over the storm where every other creature seeks shelter. That's symptomatic thought. So we're inquisitive, that's one of the things. See, what the Western society has done is take your curiosity away. And number two, we're creative. We're creative. The 
human being wants to create. We're the only creatures on the planet that can create outside of your survival mode. Every other creature can only create something that helps it survive. Unfortunately, we've created some crazy stuff that will kill us, but we are creative. We can take a thought. So when someone says you're nature-like, you're God-like, it means that I can take a conceptual thought and then turn it into a reality. 